start uh, the problem solving on equation the third uh, and last that i have taught you on theory part the first one is third second was the number and the third one is equation so i will uh, bring you some problem on equation and that equation would be first linear equation then followed by quadratic equation so <clears throat> as you know uh, that linear equation is basically represents a line so linear equation if i say equation if i say is representation of a straight line okay so this straight line may uh, be a parameter having two variables one variables and that variables may signifies different uh physical quantity just like uh, price to weight and all that so similar kind but linear equation as a whole can be represented in a uh, in a coordinate system having x and y as reference line this is horizontal is x and vertical is y and the intersection is you know is an origin called whose coordinate if i assume it has to be 0 0 and anything towards the this right towards the right of that along the x will be a positive x and along the y on the upwards is a positive y and accordingly the respect this is negative x this is negative y so this is the basic construction of any coordinate system which are lying in a single plane that i have described earlier just to uh, give a uh, refreshment i am just es explaining the thing but thing is that a straight line of kind a general form ax plus by plus c can be taken as an universal uh, linear equation of having two variables x and y dependent uh, one is dependent other may be independent if i uh, convert the equation uh, accordingly because if i express the equation in function of x the y is function of x then it will be a this is is a independent variable this is dependent why am dependent saying dependent because any value of x i will get another value of y same can be represented in the form of this then this will be independent this will be dependent so this is the concept where one value uh, of what i will get another value of uh, the second variable it will be a dependent variable so this is the basic concept so now i'll move on to the thing that i want to discuss that is a general form of uh, linear equation is this one now to represent it in an intercept form intercept means these uh, lines any of such lines will intercept uh, any of the part of the uh, axis whether it is plus uh, x or uh, plus y plus x minus y plus x, uh, plus y minus x and like that so if i say that it, uh, this is the line represented by this this will intersect at x axis definitely at some point and y axis definitely some point apart from other points on the line so if i uh, if i represent this in the form of uh, uh, intercept form so how will i do that minus c now i will divide c so if i do it i will get something like that is equal to 1 so this is the generalized form this will be something like that x upon a plus y upon b is equal to 1 if any linear equation can be uh, represented in this form or bring to this form then a is nothing but the intercept on x axis this is a followed by this coordinate y would be 0 on the anything on the x axis will be 0 y will be 0 and the same here is x intercept will be 0 but 
y intercept will be b so if i can represent in this form so that intercept on x axis directly i can say this is a this is b here a is nothing but equal to minus c by a and b is nothing but minus b by a so intercept uh, if i uh, been told that uh, what are the intercept on x and y axis for this linear equation then i can represent in this way or whatever i will get here it will be intercept on the respective axis which is there on the top x follows by this y followed by this so this is the intercept in this so this will represent the c by a comma 0 and this also a point on the line this also a point on the line and similarly this is also a point on the line so this is the basic thing now i'll move on to the uh, solution so first so you have understood what i have um, um, uh, try to make uh, some concept here but this is in a form of mathematics okay so moving to the question the first question comes uh, solve each following equation and check your answer so you have to solve the linear equation in the form of 7x uh, 2 minus x is related to this linear equation now this as it, you can see it is a only one variable x there is no double variable is there so i have to solve it so the solution gives that the the basic of any linear equation solution you have to bring all the variables or if it is a single variable in one side and all the constant on the other side okay so you have to bring variable one side constant other side so by following this uh, my effort would be i have to break it first into simpler form i have to all you can you can say it is simplifying the expression on the both side so minus 7 into 2 is 14 and that 7x that is equal to 3x plus 2 now as per the rules i have to bring all the variables in one side so this this is there already the one variable is there that will come here with the exchange of sign so because anything is, is coming across the equal sign it will change its sign which is carrying so here it is carrying positive so it will come there with the negative sign or it, for this case if i try to bring the constant on that side it will also change its sign and will followed by a sign positive because it is negative so any sign is there when it is crossing the equal sign it will change either it is left to right or right to left doesn't matter but remember anything moving on the other side of the equal from any side it will change its sign okay so now what is the uh, outcome of it it will be 8x i suppose yes it is equal to 16 now x is equal to if i divide it 16 and this will come to the denominator and i know that result is 2 so here the x is 2 so for you can say for x is equal to 2 the equation or this expression on the left hand side equal to the right hand side okay now if i say x is equal to 2 as i said that uh, any linear equation can represent a uh, straight line so let's see whether it also represent a straight line or not so if i say x is equal to 2 how will i present that so that means x is equal to 2 means i have to thought in mind that that would be any value of y y could be any value so if y could be any value x is 2 that means if i divide because you know that uh, x y coordinate system is uniformly distributed to some units on the both axis and these units are the unit uh, along the x or unit along the y this is up to you how do you decide whether you will take in the graph that 5 centimeters is equal to 1 unit or 10 centimeters that is up to you but it has to be a uniform distance between the two consecutive points so so this is uniform so if i say x is equal to 2 that means this is 1 if i say this is 2 this is 3 2 so x always will be 2 so how come it is always 2 for y anything if i move along the y 
and I will get some point here. First say for one, for, let's say it is one. Why I am getting two here? So this point. Now for that y is equal to two, I will get again x is equal to two. Y is equal to three, I will get again. So any value in between also. So if I join this line, it will be something like that. It can move on both side, and for any value of y from positive to negative, I will get always a equal distance from uh, that y axis, positive y or negative y, whatever you say. I will get equal distance. So this line is, is parallel to y axis. So that means any uh, value where x is constant should be a line which is parallel to y axis and equidistant from that y axis by the constant value. Understood? So this is the basic representation of any line. You, if you think very calmly, you can understand easily because x is equal to 2. That means there is, if it is not even said, because if I am representing it in a form of uh, xy plane, then definitely there must be some y value. So, but as y is not said, so I have to assume for any value of y, x is constant. That means x is equidistant, x uh, coordinate is equidistant from the y axis. So, this will, if I draw a point, means uh, connecting all the dots, which I will get for every, any value of y, it will be a straight line and that has to be a parallel to y. Okay, so you can, uh, can bring this concept that any value where x is equal to a is representing any line has to be parallel to y axis. Now how will you uh, correlate where it has to be? If the constant is positive, so that means it will be on the positive side. If constant is negative, it has to be in the negative side. This can be also represented in the form of x minus a is equal to 0. That means x minus a is a line which is at the positive side of uh, coordinate means uh, x y plane and if it is x plus a that would be in the negative side and equal distance from the y axis okay now moving to the second problem this says 4t divided by t square minus 25 is equal to 1 by but seeing this can you say this uh, what kind of equation or uh, yes what kind of equation whether it is a linear or, or uh, uh, the multiple means polynomial anything more than uh, one degree of the variable is a polynomial so up to what one is there for that variable here you can see the only one variable is there the highest power of this is 2. So this is definitely is not a linear equation. It is a polynomial and that 2 power of 2 that means a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Okay. So quadratic equation. Here also I will get the maximum t by t to t square. So it will not cross 2. If it is crossing 2 that we won't name it as a quadratic equation rather it will be polynomial of power 3 that way you can represent so this is not a uh, linear equation so i will come it in later form so i will move on something the similar something the similar here why i am showing you because you should not have an a, a, a impression on your mind that that variable is always to be a x and y because i am representing in, in a plane of x and y so you will always try to find x and y x and y nothing but a dependent and independent axis this x is a independent axis independent axis okay and this y is a dependent axis. 
so that means anything of any any relation between two variables is such that one for one value of that one variable i will get another value of other variable then one must be a independent one must be dependent that means x will be a independent value for independent value of x i will get a dependent variable y so this could be anything x and y can be anything because in kinematics you might have uh, uh, come across the relation between uh, so many variables together so just like uh, the displacement is equal to nothing but uh, v into e okay so displacement where this this all can be a variable but if i assume that is moving with the v is nothing but the velocity so if i assume that velocity is constant then distance is dependent on time so distance here is a dependent variable this is independent variable okay so i can put x uh, t in this axis and distance in this axis from there i'll get some value of d every time for any value of t because let's say a vehicle is moving at the speed uh, in a velocity of 2 meter per second and and it is moving for 5 second then find the distance traversed distance or or the find the displacement like that it can be said displacement okay so if i if it is the question then you know that 2 meter per second is constant because it is not increasing or decreasing anywhere so this is constant and the variable is 5 second that means from first second or zero second to 5 second it is moving constantly so it will definitely cross some uh, distance along the line so i can say for first second 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 third second fourth second five second respectively it will cross some distance if it is distance so for first second it may cause up to this in second it may cause up to this third second it may cause up to this fourth second up to this and five second so if i join all this line you can get a straight line which may cross through zero i'm why i'm saying zero because if i taken the reference zero from there it is starting from rest so here zero zero that means at zero time it has zero distance and if i consecutively join all the line all the points respective to t1 t2 t3 t4 t5 i will get some distance if i join that it will represent a line and this line will be a relation this one here it is nothing but y is equal to m into x kind of linear equation is there were two variables and m is a constant here so this will represent a line now that is related with this variable so is not that always you have to uh, think that all variables has to be y and x form that must be, that may be in the form of any other variable dependent or independent in between understood so this is the concept so if i say and the linear equation is of uh, of variable w here as a single variable you need not to worry rather you have to think in that way this is only a variable other there is no variables you have to solve it for that so as per the rule you have to bring all all the uh, variables in one side to omega this is a sign of omega then 8 omega and you have to bring all the constant on the other side as the rule says you have to change the sign i am automatically doing that once you do practice it is automatically come in your uh, in your habit so there is no worry for that just think when you crossing equal sign you have to change the sign that's it so 4 196 so or omega will be 1 into 6 upon 2 20 that is equal to so because 10 decimal will uh, change the decimal if you assume with the right, uh, the end it will move to one point on the left hand so this will be your answer okay
now there is another kind of uh, another kind of problem where it may happen that there are two there are uh, two uh, uh, such equation so two such linear equation which intersects each other that means if i say there are two lines which are moving let's say this way and this way there must be some other point because unless and until the lines are parallel it would cut at certain at, at a certain point okay so if it is cutting at a certain point why i am saying certain point because sometime this is assume that that lines even though it is not parallel it will not meet at uh, at uh, in a in a plane forever this is a very uh, converging but not even uh, moving to each other and not contacting each other in a finite distance so there may be possibilities of such kind so uh, that that assumption for some cases in a higher study will do for uh, assuming some uh, very uh, limiting condition so that i will not discuss here we will be confusing then so rather if, remember there may be a two kind of line one will be parallel one will be intersecting so the parallel line never intersects each other each other so i will not get any common point which will lie on both the lines by seeing the parallel you can see if dot that is not cut uh, intersecting any point so there should not be a common point which will lie on this line and this line together so this point of contact will lie on both so on that basis if i say if it is a1x plus b1y plus c1 this is a linear equation this also a linear equation of kind a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0 plus c2 is equal to 0 then there must be some common points which may lie on this and this this if i assume is x1 and y1 then x1 and y1 will satisfy both the equation and i can respectively write b1 y1 plus c1 is equal to 0 and a2 x2 x2 x1 plus sorry b2 y1 plus c c2 is equal to 0 so both the equation satisfy with the single value x and y1 now x and y1 is a single entity single existence so this means this particular x1 and y1 i can say it is a constant value now from that if i solve for x1 and y1 i will get a common point okay so this is the one kind of another kind of problem which may arise so for this kind of uh, thing there are uh, few numbers of uh, you can say style by which we can solve the equation uh, solve this type of equation there may be you can say this this is a process of solving such equation so these are termed as the first kind by which you can solve is graphical graphical method i am saying about the method b is elimination method <coughs> C is substitution D is your cross multiplication and other two which is very uh, uh, high in concept so uh, although i am writing but i will not come across this because this needs some uh, other thing uh, other theories to be known that you anyhow it is not required for the lower uh, uh, means standards so so i will not come across other rather i am just uh writing this on the board but this needs some other concept to be known so i will not come across this so determines means i will not taught you this because this two part i will skip uh, right now other four it will be useful for you for uh, uh, knowing the uh, how how and how easy way you can solve the linear equation these are the some methods 
and out of this this is the fastest uh, this is the uh, fastest method by which you can solve it so i will discuss in the later class this four skipping this because this needs some uh, understanding because matrix you have to understand determinants you have to understand so that will be very tough for you to understand because that needs extra kind of uh, maturity of brain so that will not able to, you will not able to grasp it right now so i will not going to tell you that about that but i will definitely come across this okay so thank you for now next class definitely i will come with this concepts